First of all, we thank Allergy for the opportunity to give you this short introduction to our review article. It summarizes new regulatory requirements established to tackle a common clinical problem in the field of allergology. So far, it is not possible to compare the strength or active substance content of products for allergen-specific immunotherapy because the potency units are manufacturer-specific. In order to solve this problem, the BSP-090 project has been initiated. In its course, two international reference standards containing the major allergens BETV1 from Birch Pollen and FLIP-5 from Timothy Grass Pollen and corresponding allergen-specific standard ELISAs have been established and validated in international ring trials. In our article, we provide an overview over the general legal framework of the European Pharmacopoeia, which is legally binding in 39 signatory states, and how the standard methods and references are implemented therein. The implementation of general chapters like SA of BETV1 allergen is not sufficient to make the use of the described SA mandatory, they have in addition to be referred to in a monograph. Therefore, the general monograph on allergen products is currently in revision. The revised monograph will request the use of standard methods for single allergen content determination, outline for which products the new requirements will apply, and explain how the allergen content is to be labelled. Our review describes how allergen product manufacturers will be able to comply with these new requirements by updating their product-specific documentation. Finally, our work discusses the impact of the changes in the pharmacopoeia. At least for native allergen products based on birch or timothy grass pollen, clinicians will soon benefit from labeling of major allergen content. Although the complexity of allergen products cannot be broken down to the content of a single allergen molecule, the information will nevertheless enable a better comparison between products and support well-informed clinical decisions. Thank you very much for your attention.